So people ask the question, how do I know if I'm in ketosis at all? And of course, some people will say, oh, well, you can feel it. Well, I don't know, I can't feel it. I actually have to test it. So today I'm gonna to talk about some of the testing methods I've done, the good, the bad. Well, I'm not sure there's any ugly, maybe a little ugly. Anyway, stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Keto Fasting Life. So today I'm gonna to talk about blood testing or ketone testing, if you wanna call it that, um, either way. So I've tried a few things. Uh, I, I tried this little um, $12, there it is right there, $12 um, breath tester. This is actually a breathalyzer, breathalyzer meant for alcohol in your breath testing. Um, and some people have reported this will detect ketones as well. So I tried that. Um, and what I found was that, in, in fact, I, it did seem to detect ketones. So when I first bought this, which was probably about a month ago, you know, I knew I was in ketosis because I'd been eating properly for several days, and I would blow on this, and I would blow well over the legal limit of alcohol, so I don't know what a police check would give me. But, uh, but the results were all over the place. And lately, I'll show you in a second, the results are, are no good at all. So then, I ended up buying the from keto mojo here we'll put it over here keto mojo the uh their keto mojo tester little device looks like this um works it it works spectacularly well however you pay money i mean i forget actually how much this costs i'll look it up and put it on the screen right over here um, it wasn't too much money but you buy one and you get these little strips now here's the thing you get these little strips that go into it and uh these things cost, well, the cheapest you can get them is a dollar a piece. So on a subscription basis. Uh, so if the little kit comes with 10, which is okay, um, but then you, you sign up on a subscription basis to get bouts of 50 cent to you for, for a dollar a piece. Um, and you can schedule that subscription of as much as you want. Uh, now, I didn't buy my unit through Keto Mojo because I live in Canada and they don't ship to Canada from the States. Um, I bought mine through the website, I believe it's Jimmy Moore's site, I think it's uh, bestketonetest.com, but if that's wrong I'll post a correction up here over my shoulder as well. So I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, now, let's, uh, so first I'm going to use this, this ketone, like I used to blow 1.9 on this thing. Um, and I suspect this morning, it's this morning I haven't had anything other than a cup of black coffee this morning. And normally I would, it warms up a little bit, so you're counting down there. And then it's ready. nothing zero on that and that i i used to be able to blow i don't know 0 0.02 0 0.2 or 0.5 or 1.9 at times um certainly if i was drinking it showed up but that is reading zero nowadays um so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a test with this tester and we'll see what the results really look like so what happens i'll show you over here they give you this little um tool that pricks your finger and don't, it's, it's, like, it's like taking your finger and going like this. It's not that big a deal. It's not that, it doesn't hurt. They actually have a little dial on it that you can control how far the needle goes in based on how thick your skin is. So I have it set fairly low. You literally, inside here is a little needle. You pull this device out. You, actually before I do that, you take one of these strips. Here, I'm going to spend a dollar for the same as science. It has a little computer chip or a little signal on the end of it. You put it in the end of the reader, if you can do that, like so. You shove it down and that just itself turns it on. We get a little pinprick on our finger. Ah! Squeeze a little blood out, like so. And then just stick the end of the strip in the blood. See if we can see this at all. I'm not sure we can. It'll read it. Oh, 
say we got 1.0 millimolars per liter. So not extremely high, but ketosis is considered anything 0.5 to point or 0.5 to 3.0. So in fact, I am in ketosis. Uh, yet the little breath breath unit said absolutely nothing. So these are like I say when I first bought this, it did detect some stuff, but it's pretty much now useless. I don't know why. Maybe my body's it, it measures acetone in your breath as opposed to beta hydroxybutyrate in your blood, um, which is a much better test. So my suggestion would be if you want to try this out for 12 bucks, go ahead and do it, but don't rely on an ongoing. Certainly don't do the P strips that you can get. They, I've, I haven't tried them, but from everybody who I talked to after the first few weeks, they're just about useless. Uh, this unit is a good, a good unit. Um, and you know what? I only test myself maybe once a week. So even at a dollar a test, I'll go a long time before I use up my, my second package of 50 sort of thing. Anyway, there you go. Give that a try. It's very handy to know if you're in ketosis or not. And I will have lots of videos coming up. So don't forget, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, all those kinds of fun things. And we'll see you on the next video.